Gas corporations have pulled out of Russia and major movie pictures are now banning film premieres as a show of solidarity for Ukraine. Local 10's Terrell Fournay live in Fort Lauderdale with how the ban on Russian goods is how impacting uh, and hitting South Florida. Terrell. Well, more and more companies that do business here in South Florida are joining this widespread boycott against Russia. The latest company to fall in line, this major liquor retailer. Russian-made vodka is gone from the shelves at all total wine stores. A strong stand amid the widely unpopular and deadly invasion into Ukraine by Russian troops. I think it's a good idea. I think we got to put some pressure on them. I don't know how good, much good it'll do, but can't hurt it, right? Customers shopping at this Fort Lauderdale location were still met with plenty of vodka choices in store aisles next to signs which read, we will no longer serve Russian-made products. The move is in solidarity with the Ukrainian people. A different establishment in Miami, Shots Bar in the Wynwood area is doing the same. They posted a message on Instagram that says, we pulled all Russian spirits. That message ends with the hashtag, stand with Ukraine. We shouldn't buy anything or do anything from that country. Russia should be just nothing. There's a lot of oligarchs in Russia who are losing a lot of money and uh, some of them are going to lose money because of the vodka so I mean, they'll put pressure on Putin. The business ties with Russia are also being severed among some major oil companies. The parent companies of BP and Shell have announced they too have cut operational ties with the country run by Vladimir Putin. I don't think he planned on this being this uh um, drastic consequences. So that Russian economy is in a free fall, partly because of those stiff sanctions and because of moves like this. But according to experts, only about 1% of the vodka on the shelves here in the U.S. is actually made in Russia. So if anyone is interested in doing this boycott, experts really suggest that you at least do your homework and know which brands are actually made in that country. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 2.